my name is Kaylin. If you don't know me, thank you for watching my video today. Today I'm going to give you 10 tips regarding how to have a healthy marriage after you've had a baby. I am a first time mom. My daughter is eight and a half months old and there are a lot of things that your marriage runs into when you have a baby and I feel like not enough people talk about this and I want to share with you what I've learned so that hopefully if you are pregnant or you are a new mom, you will feel better equipped for what is ahead and you will have different expectations and different ideas about how to care for your marriage. Having a baby changes everything. It's so important to feed your marriage because that is the best thing I really believe that you can give your child. So let's jump into the tips. Tip number one, expectations. Manage your expectations. Expectations are huge and this is again one of the reasons I want to address this is because I feel like there's no one talking about how your marriage is affected by having a baby. Before you had your baby, it was just, it's just you and your husband. You have a whole way of living life whether or not you realize it. You know, you have a way you interact, you have things that you like to do with each other, you have things that you like to do by yourselves, you have your way of life. That changes when you have a baby. All of it changes. Your marriage is going to need attention and you are going to face trials. Some of them might be short, some of them might be a lot longer. But I just hope that with my tips I can help you avoid different struggles that can arise. Having a baby is going to magnify the condition of your marriage. So if you have a healthy marriage, you are probably going to grow a lot closer together. If you are already having a lot of struggles with your partner, it will most likely magnify the issues that are already going on in your marriage. It will most likely magnify any sort of division or anger or, you know, unresolved sort of issues. That doesn't mean it's going to be awful and horrible. It's just something that is important to realize so that you can be better prepared to handle the situation when your baby's here. And I think these other tips will kind of give you a more comprehensive idea of what sort of expectations to have in regards to your marriage and your marriage after baby. Okay, tip number two. Remember that you and your husband are on the same team. This tip applies to just marriage in general, even if you're not pregnant or you do not have a baby. But when you are stressed and you are exhausted and you want to turn against each other, remember that you are on the same team and you need each other. You don't want to turn against each other. You are each other's best ally. So as much as your flesh just wants to push the other person away, wants to get angry, wants to attack the other person, take a moment, sit back, remember that, you know, you love this person and you need them and they need you and your spouse is not the problem and the baby's not the problem. It's just an adjustment and there's so much going on. I just encourage you to step back, take a look at just how you're doing and just express yourself, express yourself to your spouse. Let them know, you know, how tired you are. Let them know how difficult this is. Share in the trials with them. Don't make them the trial. They are not the trial. Okay, tip number three. Be patient with each other. You're both just figuring this out. You know, you have never done this before. We're learning, you know, we learn as we go in life and your spouse doesn't know what they're doing. You don't know what you're doing. Your baby is, you know, thrust into this whole new world. Like, it's, it's new for everyone. And just try and give grace to each other and be patient because all of these things, it's going to take time for an adjustment. It's going to take time to settle into a new way of doing things, a new way of living life, a new way of everything. So just be patient and hang on. Tip number four. It goes with tip number three and that is that this is just for a season and when you are stressed when you're exhausted when you are feeling like this is impossible I cannot do this like I just want to run away if you're ever just overcome by all those emotions which it's totally normal number one that's normal but remember that you know that's how you're feeling right now that's not the end all everything is so new right now and it's gonna change it's gonna pass and it's gonna get easier and I would remind myself that when I felt like oh my gosh, what did we do? We had a baby, like, my life has changed forever. Like, I just felt those feelings and then just remembered, you know, it's going to change. There'll be ups and downs, but you are going to be more practiced at this. You and your spouse will have your feet under you more. Tip number five, express your needs to your spouse. It took me a while to realize what I needed and 
the thing is, is that it's always changing. So when you have a baby, your needs change a lot. What your needs used to be from your spouse change so much. It's gonna look different for everyone. Everyone's gonna find their own rhythm, whether your husband is getting up with you at night or this or that. Figure out what you need and express that to your spouse. And also learn what your husband needs. You are the mom, but your husband has needs too. And he's going through so many different changes as well. He is experiencing stresses that we as women cannot understand. The whole idea of providing and that sort of thing often weighs heavy. They're trying to support you. It's a big adjustment for them too. So be aware of that. And if they seem stressed and are taking it out on you, I would just try and get to the heart of the issue and address that. Let him know that you see what he's doing. Along with expressing needs, affirm what they are doing. We need that, and especially from our spouses. Affirm him for changing the diapers. Let him know how much you appreciate it. Let him know how grateful you are when he lets you sleep that extra hour or whatever. We just want to know we're doing okay. We have this life in our hands and just let him know he's doing a great job. Tip number six, create time to spend together. And this is important for obvious reasons. You know, you have a third member of your family now and make sure you have some time to spend together. Even if it's 20 minutes, if it's an hour, if it's multiple hours, that's awesome. But realistically, just have that quality time, no phones, no whatever, just talk to each other, you know, hear how each other's doing. If you wanna watch a movie and totally veg out, do that. Do whatever you wanna do, or whatever you can do and is practical, but don't discount the fact that you need time together. Give each other as much as you have to give each other, and a little of that is gonna go a long way. Tip number seven, it kind of goes with tip number six. And this one has been huge for me Make sure your spouse has some time for themselves. Make sure they have time to do what they enjoy. Have your husband leave and go hang out with his friends for a few hours or let him, you know, Alex likes to go biking, mountain biking. Encourage your spouse to take some time for themselves because while it might be hard to have them away for an hour or two, it will repay you because we need to replenish ourselves. We are not used to this. We are not used to caring for a little baby day in and day out. Along with creating time for them, let your spouse know how important it is for you to have time to yourself too, if they don't already understand that. And try and think of some things that you want to do that you would enjoy, that would replenish you, that would help bring you back to life a little bit. And, and spend that time doing what you enjoy, not looking back, not worrying about the baby, which is much easier to say than to actually do but it's so worth it. For instance, this is my time right now that my husband has given me. He is at Costco with my daughter and here I am filming a video and I'm so grateful, you know? I'm so grateful when he gives me some time to do whatever it is that I wanna do. Personally, I love to just go lay outside depending on the weather and the sun by the pool or I also love to paint when I have time. I really enjoy just not doing anything. Get that break for yourself. You absolutely need it. It is mandatory and I just hope that your husband is loving and understands that. Number eight, reach out for help. Just having you and your husband, it's a lot to carry and especially in our culture I feel like it's very common to do everything all on our own. You know we're very independent people but we really need help and the quote you know it takes the village to raise a child is so true and it is so hard to do without help. If you can have you know, someone, maybe a mom or mother-in-law, stay with you for whatever you feel comfortable with, a week, two weeks, a month, I don't know, do it. I was hesitant because I just wanted that bonding time with my daughter, especially being a first-time mom. But if someone can come and just help with dishes, help with laundry, help with the basic things so you can spend that time with your baby, that is great. And if you can have a friend set up a meal train sort of thing for you, there's different websites where you can have people sign up to bring you food or send you a gift card that will be so helpful so maybe you can ask a friend to do that for you that kind of goes with the whole newborn stage but just reach out for help to have additional resources will go such a long way tip number nine talk to other moms talk to other new parents people do not talk about this but just because people don't talk about it it doesn't mean that other people aren't struggling it's healthy it's normal and it's good, you know, it's good that you're figuring it out. And texting my sister, who's also a new mom, made such a difference for me. Just 
because other people are doing this too and other people have done this before you and it makes such a difference to have that sort of support, to hear their stories, to hear their advice. There's even different mom Facebook groups out there. I definitely recommend checking them out because they can be super helpful. Sometimes it's nice to talk to strangers about more personal stuff because you can get that honest feedback. And yeah, go on Facebook and search for different mom groups. Also, there are mom groups out there in every city where moms meet and they do mommy things. I don't know. Make some other mommy friends because you can't do this alone. You need them. It will make such a difference. Tip number 10 is to continue to touch base with your spouse. You know, this is not a one and done sort of thing. Your baby is constantly growing. Every week, every few weeks, you think you have it figured out and it completely changes. So their sleeping changes, their needs change, they get clingy, they want this, they need that. It's always changing. So as that changes and as you know different circumstances in your husband's life and your life change continue to touch base continue to express your needs continue to hear them out continue to employ all of these things and you're gonna have to rework it you know your time alone or together is gonna look different as your baby grows so don't think you've talked about some of these things and haven't figured out because it's not how life works you know it's a process and as we go through life things are constantly coming up and in order to keep things healthy between your spouse and yourself you are gonna have to talk through different things so those are my 10 tips about how to continue a healthy marriage after you have your first baby especially in the first year I really hope that they were helpful I hope that you took something away from this. If you did, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. I'm gonna be sharing a lot of other stuff and more stuff about motherhood and what I've learned. You can do this, you are doing a great job. And if you are pregnant right now, please do not be afraid. I did not talk much about how amazing it is to be a mom in this video, but there are struggles. So I just wanted to share some of my tips for keeping your marriage strong because it's so important. Thank you so much for watching. Again, my name is Kaylin. Please subscribe to my channel, Love Tappy, and I can't wait to see you in my next video. Okay, bye.